Okay, guys, I've got Gary here with me. Do you want to talk, Gary? Uh, I might fill in on occasion if I need to. Okay. I don't know if it's coming through good because I don't got my headphones in. Um, so it's just recording straight because I'm on my tablet. I could probably do it on my phone if I really wanted to. Yeah, I've got my phone right here in my hand. I just don't. I don't feel like it. Let me make sure it's still charging because it was at like 20%. Just 18. Nope, and it's not charging. Um, anyhow. <sighs> it's not charging well. Um, but I was coming back because in my last video, I know y'all were like, you already came back and said that. Yeah, well, I was getting back to what what I was meaning by the Nancy Pelosi and the Chuck Schumer thing when people are saying I oh, hope the the thing I I'm gonna speak up here. I don't know where the where the volume is at. But I'm trying to do it to where maybe it's right there. Hello. I don't know. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Um but what I was saying is people agree with certain individuals that want the military to be used on the U.S. citizens. For what? I don't know. I can't answer that question. I am not that person. But if I had a guess, because if you assume you're an ass, well, I am. I'm an asshole. Okay, so uh, me saying all of this. People or persons want the enemy within not my words his words not mine because you don't like them personally and they don't like you politically when you say that this person is trying to put me in jail. Well, what did you do? Remember, don't fight, just comply. I'm saying that to you. Because the double standard for me makes me mad. Because if you are saying this female is a fascist but then that female says when somebody asks do you think that that man is a fascist and she says yes yes i do okay you're mad that she thinks that you're a fascist but she never called you one you're mad at that woman when she said when somebody at and then she says that she agrees with his ex general that she does agree with what he said that he said that he is a fascist she still never called you one she never called him one she says she agrees with that person when that person said and then she then quoted that person. Still, never called you a fascist. All I can say is multiple, multiple, multiple times. You have said the words. You have said that you want it. The U.S. citizens to be I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say it 
not not harshly as I want to but you basically want the people that don't like you to get okay I'm, I'm gonna censor it because my, my head was wanting to go there basically Schindler's List on the on the nearest train to the new nearest camp the 17 what is it 1796 <laughs> 17 something the executive nine uh 9606 i think that's what it is i don't remember the number the uh japanese in in a uh, conservation camp in california in the 40s or the holocaust camps that's all I'm saying. That's what he wants to do. He has said it. Everybody makes excuses for him. And yes, I am speaking out against him. And I am a black female. Which I know that if he gets in, I know that I might be one of the ones in the camp. Even though I did nothing wrong. Freedom of speech, right? But it's only freedom of speech when he says it, not when anybody else says it. It's not hate talk when he says it. But if somebody says something that he doesn't like, oh my gosh, his pearls, upstairs and downstairs, get in a wad. Because, and I was just saying this before I started the video, you're against transgenders, uh, you're, you're against, you're against others and fill in the word whatever you want to use you're against them why why are you against them because you don't like men wearing makeup but you wear makeup hmm like I said I can call you a fascist, but you can't call me one. I can wear makeup, but you can't. You don't like men wearing high heels. Huh. I can wear high heels because I'm a tall man. I'm taller than everybody in the whole room. But you can't wear them. Huh. Odd. Weird. I can talk. I Me, mean, I don't like the way that you drink out of a straw. But I could drink out of a straw. I don't like how your lips purse when you're drinking. Out. Oh, why are you looking at his lips, huh? And I know that that one wasn't that one was it th that man that that one was another man that wants the generals to take Kamala Harris in a room. It, his words, not mine, kind of had their way with her. That's what he said. I didn't say that. He said that. Oh, but he didn't mean it in that way. Hmm. Do you want the generals to take you in the back room and have their way with you, big boy, while making you drink out of a straw so that your lips can't purse? Look, I'm for equality. Be you. I will celebrate you. That's all I'm saying. Whatever you want. Like, if you want to drink out of a straw, drink out of a straw. It's a straw. It is made to drink out of. Man or woman. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. They, they protest very hardly. Oh, men shouldn't wear makeup. Okay, well, I take mine off when you take yours off. <laughs> Yeah, I thought so. Oh, but yeah. yet you take 
pride in the YMCA song. Yep, you you dance your hardest to the YMCA. Huh? A what is that group, about? A group so, yeah, so. yeah, and they they're open, free, happy. Oh, yeah. oh, did you not know that the word gay means happy? It does. But I guess I'm just too woke. I'm not asleep like everybody else. I'm woke to equality. I am woke to you mind your business and I mind mine. As long as it's not hurting anybody. That man or that or that woman that wants to do anything with their body that's not affecting you personally. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? If I am over the age of 18 and I want to be a different sex, am I asking you to cut your berries and your stick off to give to me? No. Okay, am I asking for, am I, am I saying that I'm going to cut my berries and sticks off and put it on you? If I'm a man. No. So why does me wanting to be. And this is me speaking. This is not. I'm not speaking for Gary. I'm speaking for Marquita. If I want to be a different sex. If I want to love a different or the same sex. That only affects me. That only affect everybody. Because. If I like if I like women and I want to date women, okay, that doesn't mean I want to date every woman. If I'm a man and I and I want to date a man and I want to be with a man, that doesn't mean I want to be with every man. That ain't how that works. Just because they're gay don't mean that they're looking at you. Sorry, vanity dies only with you only you want you like like buffalo bill said oh i'll fuck me yeah like when he's looking in the mirror looking at himself yeah buffalo bill said that to himself while having owned someone else's scalp <laughs> okay sorry go ahead well and, and the same thing goes in a heterosexual yeah i'm a man i'm interested in women but i ain't interested in all women yeah just the one a lot. Exactly. The same thing for the women that are interested in men. They don't like all men. Exactly. Some of them they hate. Exactly. They like what they like. All I'm saying is. And I have another question too, but you go ahead. I said in my other video that at one time, interracial dating, interracial marriage was illegal. It became legal. Okay. At one time, gay marriage was illegal. And it is now legal for right now. But. There's. There's hundreds of kids. In foster care. That need to be adopted. And because I'm a same sex relationship not me personally i'm saying it me as if i am them and because i am a same-sex marriage not dating marriage i can't i can't adopt a child why so you rather that child to be in an orphanage to where they don't get any normus, norm, normalcy. Normalcy. Yeah, that word. They don't get any normal. Normal. And then they grow up with a chip on their shoulder. With something because they, they are not right. Because they never had true love. When this couple could have gave them true unconditional love. Because, just because they date the same sex don't mean 
that they're perverts. Don't mean that they cannot love a child. Give that child the best life as if there is one of each in a home. But that's just me personally. But go ahead with your question. Okay. Well, my question is, well, yeah. why would someone want people to not be well? Yeah, because I'm very well. They don't want them to be aware of what's going on. Yep. They want them to sleep so I can do what I want to do, how I want to do it. I don't want you to know I'm doing it. Exactly. That's what the meaning of what be. Yep. I would much rather be awoke and know what he's doing than to, to be asleep, asleep and following him because I don't know what he's doing. Exactly. And That's even exactly though what me. he is telling you what he's going to do, I'm going to be a dictator on day one. But you're not woke, so you don't know that. But but no, no, they do. They don't. They don't well, he you. didn't mean that. Well, why did he mean that? That's like me saying, I'm going to be a female today. Okay, well, did I not mean that I was going to be a female? I'm going to be a mother. Today, for oh, one day, oh. for for just one day, okay. Well, I'm gonna adopt this kid for one day. Yeah, to be a mother. And, and then, then I'm, I'm gonna give it up. Then I'm gonna give the child up. I went through everything. I'm I'm going to give birth to my child, and then give it up. But I want the child. I want to have it. I want the child, but only for one day. I don't want the child dead. I just don't want to take care of it. Now, I'm not saying that. That you can give birth and give the child up for adoption. That ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about I purposely made this child. I want this child. This child is my child. I want to raise this child, but for one day. Well, one day they will kill. Then, well, no, not kill it. I know, same. I know, but it's I'm just same, saying. Same, it's the same I know. Thing, yeah. If you want to be a dictator for one day, I want yeah. to be a dictator for one day, then I'm going to kill it out. So I'm not going to be a dictator yeah. no more. Okay, well, it's I, the same yeah. thing. Yeah. If I give birth to a child, I will be a child. Birth. Give our child, be a yeah, I want to be a mother, day, and then I'm gonna destroy the kid. Yeah, because I don't. Even, I don't well, be, I, I mean, you know, that's you know that's what he you know that's what he thinks. Abortion after birth. Yeah. Now, what they're talking about for people that don't know, and I don't think anybody's gonna listen to uh. it. What Trump is talking about when he said when he's saying abortion after birth, what he is, um. Um, saying is when people know families know that their child is going to be born with health problems that it is a 95 to 98% chance that that child is not going to be able to live and they want to have a late stage, you know. That's why. Because I remember, you know what, I'm not even going to tell her story. What was that disease that both of Prince's kids had? That, that one disease to start with a T, disorder, where his kids... Yeah, his, his, okay, so both of his sons were born. I, I don't remember what year. I think it might have been the 80s. But anyways, his sons were born with that disorder. And their brains didn't form. So they lived maybe an hour within minutes, minutes to hours, and suffered that whole time. Why do you want babies that's going to be born and suffer until they die? Why, why do you want that? Now, I would say for me personally, I don't want to ever have one as long as the child is going to be okay if they say oh my gosh you like the baby implanted 
on the side of your uterus. And if you go on with this with this pregnancy, this is before they revoked it, Rhodes versus Wade. I have said this. If they said, if you carry this pregnancy to full term, it will kill you, but the baby will live. I'm an adult. I lived. But that's me personally. I'm not saying that's for everybody's body. I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm speaking for me. I'm speaking for my uterus. Now, same story. If they say that this baby implanted outside of my uterus and it's going because of where it attached to that is slowly draining my blood supply or whatever wherever it's implanted that it is killing me by default it's going to kill the baby do i want to do that to get rid of it how i look at it is is it, and this is, like I said, this is my body. This is not for everybody's body. My thing is, okay, that's going to kill me. But if there's any way that we can reattach it, like, I don't, I don't know if this is even physically possible, but do it to where they can reattach it to make the baby live, I will risk my life. But if it's going to kill me and the baby... I would have to do what I got to do because the only way that I would risk my life, this is me, this is not everybody's life, the only way that I would risk my life is if I know that the baby is going to live. Now, I'm not saying that I am against, against that word. I don't want to say it because I don't want this video to get taken down. Because I want people to hear it if they want to listen to it. If that's what somebody wants to do with their with their body, that's what I want for them. I, I ten toes down, I will stand with them. Because that's their body. Like I said, how I feel about my body is how I feel about my body. I don't want no Aunt Lydia's. To come and tell me that I got to sleep with the pastor of the church. Because him and his wife has kids. And I don't want to have no baby. But yet, he wants a baby. And I'm the only one with viable eggs. Handmaid's tale. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want to be forced to have a child against my will. If that ain't what I want. But I also don't want to be forced to get rid of a child if that ain't what I want against my will. So I say when I talk about these personal things, it's from my point of view and for me personally, not for, not for anybody else. Not for anybody else. I don't know. How Gary's gonna vote? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask him because that's his private vote. But I don't think we're gonna cancel out each other's votes. If we do, that's okay. I am voting for my kids. I'm voting for my girls because when they get married if they get married it's their choice if they decide that they want to have kids if they have kids if they want to learn actual history and when i say actual history it's history that i me have lived through so i know that okay i know what what happened on 9-11. Yeah, they were not born. They were not around. But I don't want them to go to school. And then somebody say. That, oh, well 9-11 never happened. Okay, well. It did happen. Because I was around. I, I can remember where I was. When it happened. 
So if you're telling me that 9-11 didn't happen, you're a liar. And I don't want my kids to learn or to hear that that never happened. That's like Black Wall Street. They say that that never happened. Huh. Really? It didn't happen in Tulsa, Oklahoma? That Black Wall Street didn't happen? It didn't get burned down? Huh. Yeah, I wasn't there. I wasn't, I wasn't born. I don't even know if my mama was born. My point of it is, because I don't, I don't know when it happened. Because, like I said, I learned it after school. I didn't learn it in school. My, my education, they didn't get taught to me in my school. I learned about it after school. But I learned about a lot of things after school. I didn't know nothing about addiction day. Even though, when I was in school, it wasn't a thing. But I didn't know that Thanksgiving was not in November, that it's actually in October. I didn't know that. I had to learn that for myself. But see, I never stopped trying to learn. I never stopped trying to learn. You are never too old to, to learn. I try to learn something new every day. Every day. Because... Like I say, I watch all the channels, but that's because I don't want to be caught off guard. I want to be in the know. I want to I want to know what everybody is saying so that nobody can't tell me that something was said because what would it be in 30 years? The first 30 years of my life, I knew nothing politics. I knew nothing. I, I knew zero bupkis. I knew that, oh, George Bush, he was a president. Oh, um, uh, Bill Clinton, oh, he was a president. Oh, Obama, he was a president. It literally, and, and people that I voted for, because I can't go back that far because my brain... But whoever I voted for, I didn't vote for them because I I looked up everything and I went through all the policies. I didn't do that before 2015. But see, I always say this. I always say that I thank Trump. I do. <laughs> thank you, Donald. I'm going to call you Donald. Because I feel like I know you personally just a little bit. Thank you, Donald, for opening, for making me woke. Thank you. Thank you for waking me up. Because if you didn't say what you said, if you did not show me your cards, I would have been asleep. I would not have been woke. I would have voted for him. That's what makes it so bad. I would have been a Trump voter. I would have been a Trump supporter. Because I knew zero about politics. But it's that famous saying, if you know better, do better. I now know better. I am now woke. And when people say that I'm woke, thank you. Thank you. That is a compliment to me. Because I'd rather be awake and see what's going on. Than to be asleep and not knowing what's going on. Because I don't want to wake up tomorrow to um, Korean style military marching down my street. Me having to do high H word to the president. Me having to only have one hairstyle. Me only get to have one child. Well, I have two kids. So does that mean I got to kill one of my kids? And what makes it so bad is they're girls. Oh, making girls illegal since there's two to one. There's more females than there is males. So... I, that's all I'm saying. I don't want for my kids 
to grow up not knowing the truth. Whatever the truth is, I want them to be like, if, if, if we, the United States, get all of our rights, if we get sent back to the 1700s, where women are second-class citizens, minority people or no class citizens i don't want them to be like why didn't you fight i want them to say if me and my kids are in one camp and if they if they if they say to gary your your mouth is a little reckless so you're in another camp because we're interracial couple so I don't think we're going to get to be in the same camp. But let's say that me and my kids were in one camp. Gary's in another camp. Gary's in another camp because, you know, he's reckless with his mouth. Rightfully. And then I'm in another camp because I'm I'm reckless with my, with my mouth. And because I'm a black female. So that, that's three things against me. Reckless with my mouth. I'm black and I'm a female. This is me saying this. I want my kids to be like, you tried. You tried, mama. And all that I would be able to say to them is, I'm sorry that I didn't go harder. Even though I feel like I go pretty hard. But when you look at your kids in the face, and anything that is wrong, even outside of your thing financially when you can't buy food and it's not because you don't want to buy food it's not because you spent the money it because of circumstances and you got to look at your kids when they want food and you can't give them all that you can say is sorry but it's not your fault but you still is sorry that's how I want my kids to look at me I want them to say mama I know that you're sorry but I also know that you, you fought as hard as you could until dot, dot, dot. I want them to look at, at Gary like that. Daddy, you fought as hard as you could until dot, dot, dot. That's all that I want for everybody. I, want, I am trying to fight for people. And for things that does not have anything to do with me. I want asylum seekers. I want the dreamers, DACA. I want them to be able to be here. No, if, why are we building a wall on Mexico border but not on Canada border? I don't think either border should have a wall. Because... <sighs> I'm I'm saying this from a non um 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 what's that word start with the s the cities sanctuated where non -sanctuary. am I yeah non sanctuary city I'm saying this from a non sanctuary city my state don't border any any of the borders so I'm safely saying this because. I don't live on the Mexico border, on the Cuban border, or the Can or the Can uh, Canadian border. I don't live on none of them borders. So I'm saying this from a safe distance. I still feel like the people that need a solemn should be able to get a solemn. But that's just me speaking up here. People that's already over here, I think should get to stay. They're here legally. And the kids that were born in the United States to illegal citizens are born citizens. They should get to stay. People that are kids that were brought here as babies that did not get... A choice to come over here she get to stay they should have national uh, statehood 
but that's just how I feel. <clears throat> but I will leave y'all where I picked y'all up at. I guess.